All right, guys, here's the scoop. I've always wanted to be the CEO of a company, and today we're gonna find out if I'm up to the task. I'm gonna go around applying to be the CEO of various places around town, but first, I need a resume. So I'm here outside the library to write one up. All right, here we go. Philip Solo, previous experience. I'm gonna put 2018, Trap Lord, 2019, Scooping. What else do I have to put? My strengths? I'm mad lit, yo. And I'll also put team player. I need references. I'll just put some random name with my phone number. If they actually call the reference, I'll just answer it in a funny voice. They won't know. Excuse me? Would you mind just sitting on this side? Yeah, I'm actually gonna move. Okay. I I'm... wanna listen to you. Oh. So references, I'm gonna put Rosie O'Donnell and Alex Jones. Those are two hard hitters right there. It shows that I have connections. Huh? Uh, thanks, brother. Your cat tried to murder you? I'm, I'm actually making a YouTube video. Can I interview you about your cat trying to kill you? Tell me, tell me about this homicidal cat, dude. Yeah, the cat is named James mm -hmm. uh, Red Wing. He's got two, two names. He was sitting there basically tail behind the recess of the fridge mm -hmm. and then he uh, came out and I didn't see him and he was behind the cedar box and he attacks me and then jumps all over my shoulder oh my. and I've had him almost 10 years so I basically figured out if I do whatever he says I survive and he can't open the treat bag so he knows he has to let me live but he likes to fight with me still all right guys I think it's time to print some of these babies off all right guys it's time to hand these out I had to get gas and I'm outside of 7-eleven so that seems like a good place to start. I got this resume I'm submitting for CEO. For CEO? Yeah. I did buy the gas and the Mike and Ikes, so... Okay. I'm not saying you guys owe me, but... Actually, there is some... Um... Hey, I heard you guys are the big kahuna. Just wanted to give you this resume. Just a simple one. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty simple, yeah. So you're applying for... What the... CEO. Uh, what do you mean CEO? Like the, the big scoop. Like the big scooper. Big scooper? Yeah. I don't think 7-Eleven realized the potential gold mine that they're missing out on. So I thought, where did I make the resumes? A library. Let's go apply to be the CEO of this library chain. Hello. Wanted to submit this resume. I actually, I printed this off at a different library and it cost like two bucks. Oh. So it's like I'm already paying for myself. Is there a CEO position? No, there's nothing. <laughs> oh, you guys don't actually have a CEO... Uh, yeah, we do. It's just it's This man's car has stopped in the middle of the street. Do you need help pushing it off? Yeah, for sure. All right, here we go. Thank you. You bet. Are you guys married? No, that's my dad. Do you know if he knows of any CEO positions? All right, well, this guy's car was broken down in the middle of downtown. I'm helping him and his daughter push it when all of a sudden it roars to life. He drives off into a parking lot. His daughter says neither of them know of any CEO positions that are hiring. It's like, thanks for nothing, you know? All right, guys, we're in the McDonald's drive-through. Can I take your order, please? Uh, yeah, can I have a job? Hello, uh, I also have this resume. I wanna apply for a CEO. Oh. And listen, if they call me back about it, you know I'm gonna need a vice president. And you seem like you know your stuff, so. All right, guys. It's mother effing 8.30 a.m. on a Sunday. I've arranged a meeting with a guy I found online who says he helps people prepare for job interviews for 50 bucks. Seems like a nice guy. I want to be prepared when one of these places call me back for an interview. So I think it's really important that I do this quick little class. So let's go. So tell me a little bit about your history. Uh, yeah, I delivered pizza for a year when I was like 18, okay. and then I just kind of like didn't do anything, and now I'm 23. You know how resumes have like strengths and weaknesses? Mm -hmm. I was thinking about putting like like a weaknesses section, you know, like I care too much, I'm so good I might replace your job. I that climbed the ranks too. Very, uh, I, would, I would highly discourage that. Everybody puts, you know, they're a multitasker, team player. I want to put maybe that I'm not a team player, like Lone Wolf. I'm not looking at all 100 resumes. So what is it, look of, look of the draw? Absolutely it is. Well, maybe, maybe I sneak mine in at the last minute then, because he's probably going to look at the newer ones, say, oh, who is this Ryan Gosling character? And 
Not necessarily. Give me an example of a time you didn't see eye to eye with a colleague. Yeah, one of my coworkers, uh, like Dasani Water. Most interviews start with Philip. Tell me what you saw. Like maybe some fun facts. Like, uh, like what? I don't think they should uh, reboot Indiana Jones. So that's an hour. Well, well, thanks, man. I mean, <laughs> I got you a little gift though. You got me a gift? Yeah, it's in the car. My gift was a jar of mayonnaise. My iPhone, of course, ran out of storage right before I came back in and gave him the mayonnaise. It was such a feel-good moment. That dude was dope. I like that guy. I would crush a Law & Order marathon with that dude anytime. I'm gonna apply at this bank that I'm outside of. Oh uh, man, the resumes got kind of crumpled up in my car. And this one even has like a weird stain on it. This is a good thing though. This says like, this says I have experience. Oh, is my resume a little crumpled? I'm sorry. I must have sat on it during my meeting with Bill Gates the other week. You know what I mean? Stuff like that is sure to impress them. Good, just dropping off this resume. Ignore the stain. Yeah, I love banks and I've, I've seen Wolf of Wall Street like 20 times, so. Yeah. This would be for CEO. Do you guys have it open? Um, not yet. You, not yet? All right, guys. All I have to do now is sit back and wait for the job offers to roll in. I wanna quickly shout out some of my beautiful patrons. Freddie, Jason, does that really? Freddie and Jason, Kamal, Jody, Lapgon Long, The Great Magician Matt, Neil, Sam, Seth, Skyler, Top Shelf Trash, Tyra, and Will. You guys are officially the greatest people to ever live. If you're interested in becoming a patron and supporting me, I'll put the link in the comments and description. There's a lot of cool perks like shout outs or us broing out on Instagram or us having a private video chat. I'm even thinking about adding a tier where I get your name tattooed on my butt. So check it out sometime. All right, love you guys. Peace.